Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I'm the Sporkinator, and welcome back to Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we begun the Dune Club Alternate Rules Doubles game with Lemon and Lime versus Flint and Lily. So, Lime has just hit a perfect shot with her free wood. Onto the fairway, very nice. Up next, we have Lily with the tee shot, also using a three wood, playing it safe. It's a par-4 hole, so there's no need to hurry to the green. After all, if you can't land on the fairway, you will not get a very good second shot. Flint with a second shot, going for the green. A beautifully hit ball straight to the green. But what's this? It's a little bit far from the hole. So, will Lily be able to make that putt? Find out after this commercial break. I screwed up my shot, despite being quiet and concentrating really hard. So, Lime with the approach. At least she didn't try to use a putter, that would have just been sad. Birdie putt! With Lily, sink to win. Did we royally screw up? It appears not, because there's no way that's enough power to sink the ball. Hopefully, we can tie with par, as I sink this ball here. Insert electric guitar. <laughs> Deal with it, man. So, miss and lose, Flint. But you're so close, I don't think you can possibly miss. Haha. <laughs> that is kind of what I expect. Two more to win for them, seven more to win for Lemon and Lime. So, can we pull this game out of the gutter? Is this even remotely possible? Please do not screw up this shot too badly. That's what I said not to do. And you did it. You went and did it. Do not land in the water. Are you serious? Opposing team, up for the tee shot. Will they land in the water too? Here's hoping. Oh, of course not. They land on a different part of the hill. I don't know if that's gonna roll down into the water or not. See, 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 that's just unfair. I'm dealing with a one-stroke penalty, and they're still spot on for par. Maybe even birdie if they happen to sink this. Ah, uh, why? Well, it is my turn. Time for me to hit hard and take no prisoners. Oh, so close. If I had had that in, it would have been par. But nope, we lost. Or did we? She somehow missed that. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. This is fine. We tied with a bogey. The team that has been crushing us the entire game tied with us with a bogey when my team had a one-stroke penalty for landing in the water. Just how did we not lose that hole? That's crazy. Good grief. Oh, well. Here's hoping for a decent landing here. Boom. I thought you were supposed to go 245 yards, but you're not even close. You're only 241 after rolling down a hill. Yeah, the distance club is nice, but it seems extremely inaccurate. Even with a perfect shot, it does not fly as far as it's supposed to. So if I decide I don't need it, I may just turn it back into the club maker's hut. And in my experience, I did do a playthrough where I picked the control club, and all it did was reduce my drive as far as I could tell. Which of course gave me excellent control, but you know, I could just use a three wood if I wanted that. I could use a club lower for better control. That's how the game works. So for me personally, the control club has never served a purpose. It's just a tragedy, man. It's what it is. All right, Lime, hit it. You screwed up the shot, but maybe it'll still kind of be an okay one. Hey, you're on the green edge. That is okay in my book. I'm going to hit this one extra hard, because I think the green edge does slow you down a little bit. Plus, I'm climbing hills. So right about there will hopefully work. Are you serious? Oh, for crying out loud. I never thought I could hit it too hard going up those hills. And of course she's not going to make it. Oh! Even, 
see, see now, they still, they still get a sink to win if they make par. Do I dare? I dare. Let's start the hole over. I really don't want to freaking lose this. This is ridiculous. I should not have missed that putt. That should have been in. And it, it probably would have at least been a tie. And see, that's how my shot went a lot further, and that's because I hit a perfect one. It went 243 with the wind against me. Maybe the distance club is not as inaccurate as I thought. Maybe some of that was me messing up the shot. It's always hard to know. At least for me. Anyway, once again from the top. Can't believe we have to watch this all over again. I don't think their shots change at all. They're probably, they probably do the exact same thing as they did last time. Lime shot might vary, though, because I landed in a different spot this time than I did last time. So she could end up hitting differently. And I'm hoping she will. I'm hoping she'll hit really good this time. That's like the exact same thing she did last time. She screwed up the power and the meat area. So maybe it's not random at all. See, we're still on the green edge. Same spot. This time I think we're further back. Oh man, how hard am I supposed to hit this thing to actually get it in? Let's go there. Oh yeah, baby, that's how it's done. It's not a chip in, but it's a birdie. Now, Lily, if you could be a deer and miss that shot for me, that would be cool. <laughs> wow! Wow! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, we still have to win six more, this is crazy. Which means, at the very least, this game is going on until hole 18. I should've just made it a stroke game, it would've been the same, maybe. I don't know if that would've been easier or harder, though. Because in a stroke game, it's all about your overall score at the end of the match, whereas in a match game, your score only matters on a per-hole basis. You could score like three times par on one of these holes, and it wouldn't hurt you for the rest of the game, because it's a match game. But in a stroke game, that would permanently gimp you, and you wouldn't even be able to come back from that. So that's a thing. So, their ball's in the rough, my teammate's ball is on the fairway. I think Lime is getting better. Maybe she's learning how to golf while she's playing golf. She's like the freaking Goku of golf. Goku learns how to fight while he's fighting. Lime learns how to play golf while she's golfing. Is that cactus in my way? It sure looks like it, but I can't be sure. Is there any reason that I can't shoot for the green right now? Because there's not a cactus in my way, right? Hold on, I pressed the wrong button. I'm trying to go back and, like, review this shot. I need the camera. I need to see everything in between the impact point and where I am. Because it looks like it's not going to hit the cactus, but I could be dead wrong. And I'm overkilling this shot, but I still have a feeling it's not going to make it, so I could end up regretting this horribly. Especially if I screw it up and don't hit it full power. <gasps> not out of bounds. Holy crap, I thought I was going to land out of bounds after screwing that up. Maybe I'll roll with it. I don't want to have to start the hole over again. Because I, I did that a lot my first time through the game. I would save and quit, and then come back many, many times on one hole. But I don't want to have to do that in this video series if I don't have to. Good grief, man. Alright, so that's going to be a hard putt for them. Lime, get it close to the hole and I promise I'll sink it. I promise I'll make you happy. That's not close enough, but I will still try. Let's see if they miss par, though. They could probably end up missing par, and... Whoa, they almost had it, okay. Flint is really not a bad golfer. But this birdie putt is sketchy as heck. Oh my goodness, there's three hills I have to traverse. And I need to undercut the power, too, because it's going downhill, but I didn't undercut the power, and it still went in! Whoa! Okay. I feel like I screwed up that shot and it still worked for some reason. Well, only five more to win. So here we go, moving moving right along, man. I think Lime's getting better. Let's see what she does this time. See, that was an almost perfect shot. And if it lands on the fairway, it's all good. Yes, nice landing. All right, Lily, you're up. Why are their names Lime and Lily? I feel like Lily should have been named Lemon. But then that would have made no room for me to name myself Lemon as a joke. Oh well. No reason to complain about it, I suppose. Hey Flint. Hey Flint. Don't choke. He can't hear me though, so luckily this is totally not cheating. 
Ooh. That looks pretty sketchy for your next putt. Oh gosh, there's a cactus in my way. Fudge! Okay, well, we're gonna have to gauge the wind anyway. This thing is still in my way, are you serious? Now it's out of my way. So I'm gonna have to curve the ball and just hope this goes somewhere good. It still hit the cactus! What the heck? Oh, do not land out of bounds. I swear I will restart the hole. Okay. If we win this game, it's gonna be by the skin of our teeth. And I guess the joke is that teeth don't have skin. Alright, birdie putt sink to- oh shoot. You better not sink that. But then again, if we keep tying, we will, we will end up losing if we keep tying, because the other team is ahead. Alright, so, here we go. 18 feet to the hole. And we are- oh, oh my gosh, really? Oh no. We lost and it's all my fault. Tied to win. Oh, we are screwed. We are so screwed. Maybe not. That was a terrible shot. Look at it roll down the hill. And guess who's doing the tee shot with zero mile an hour wind? That's right, baby, it's me. I get to get a hole in one now. Well, probably not. But let's try for it, shall we? Is that lined up? It looks lined up to me. Shoot, man. Screw everything. Let's just hit the ball. Hole in one, baby. Can we have a hole in one? What? It was too far that way? Well, you know, I did move it that direction. Why did it roll that far, though? That's annoying. I never know when to use backspin. Why is that? But remember, if we tie, we lose this entire game. And because she missed that, we're tying now. Well, that's it. If she makes this, which she will, game over. We lost. Well. We do get to level up, though. We barely got any experience, so we barely even leveled up. That's the way I see it. Well. I don't know what to level up. Do I need a... I don't... A further drive is not going to help me. I'm going to have to play this game again. This whole doubles game thing. I guess I'm gonna lower my shot. It's too high. Well, I wonder what they have to say about this. We lost. But it was fun. Plus, we got to play Dune Club. Yeah, I, I already got to play Dune Club like twice, but whatever. Let's play alternate rules again. Okay, let's go. So you see them go down there, right? But I'm assuming they just go back to where they were. Oh, it's making me leave. I have no control over this. So where'd they go? Are they all the way at the putting green again? Well, it's time to repeat this alternate rules game again and hope that we can win it this time. Hey, Lemon, thanks for the other day. That was really fun. Wanna play again? Unfortunately, yes, I do wanna play again. Yeah, all right. Which rules, stroke or match? Once again, I'm gonna go with... You know what? Screw it. Let's make it stroke. Will you start? I guess so. No reason for me not to. I won't use the distance club unless I think I really need it. I believe the distance club and the control club both only replace the one wood, which is a shame. I wish they would replace my clubs with an entire set of distance clubs so that they all hit a little further. But then again, that could end in disaster, I suppose. And Flint's drive is 250 yards. That's where they have their advantage. They're able to hit really far. But here's what Flint just did. He went way too far, and he landed in the rough. So here's hoping for a good shot from Lime. Well, she actually lined that one up. So if she was aiming correctly, that should be on the fairway. It was only slightly off. It's on semi-rough. 
Alright, Lily, good luck. Actually, I wish you the worst of luck. I hope you miss. Now, she's the one screwing up. Is that gonna be the new trend in this game? And I chose Stroke, so we have to play all 18 holes. Which, I guess, is not a bad thing. We ended up playing all 18 last time, didn't we? Just because the match game dragged on and on. But, you know, that's how it goes. I'm always gonna use the running approach. It's my favorite. Top spin, down the hill. Holy crap! You know, I almost had that, so the fact it missed, I'm not I'm not even mad. That was a hard shot. Wasn't even expecting to make that, so that's okay. But at the very least, let's tie. Can we tie this time? Can we not start out losing? Let's at least start out with a tie, if not a victory. So please make the shot. Make the shot. Make the... Th th why? Well, it's this crap all over again. I guess we're gonna start out with a losing streak. Why does this have to happen? I wish my ball had gone in on that on that tricky shot. We would have instantly won, basically. But this is a stroke, so it works differently. As long as we can undo that with some good birdies, we'll win. There's a nice shot by Flint, of course. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, go in the rough. Oh man. It's terrible of me to not cheer them on, but it's because they're terribly good at the game. Or at least Flint is. He's the power player on their team, and I'm the power player on mine, I guess. So, my turn to hit the ball, and I can reach the green. So, we're going for it. I'm probably going to go way too far, though. I did see the wind, but I still hit full power anyway. I'm so used to woods coming up short, but see, I, I made a bad choice there. That's my fault. Lily, if you screw up that shot, I will be kind of happy, but sad at the same time. Wow, what are you doing? We're both in the same boat at this point. We're both trying to get onto the green on our third shot. Hey, Lily, get a chip in. Make my day. I dare you. That would be fantastic. Okay. You know, that's not bad. Par. And she missed. It's up to me. This is my chance to not necessarily win a hole because it's a stroke instead of a match game, but, you know, we can undo that bogey we got last time. So here we go. Boom! Oh, never mind, it's not a birdie. I lied, we didn't undo a bogey, but hey, they got a bogey. That means we're tied. We're both at plus one. Maybe stroke is the better option for this, I have no idea. And I was not even planning on showing both. I'm only, only playing this again because I lost the first one. If I had won the first one, that would have been the end of it. But, oh well, what can you do? All you can do is keep trying until you win. Press on, man. Alright, Lily. Screw up the shot, I dare you. Nope. But her drive's only 205, so... Her using a 1-wood is like Flint's 4-wood or something like that. Which is crazy. Lime had the longest drive. I didn't even pay attention to how long her drive was supposed to be, like how long it said she would hit. Because right there it says 233, where it says 3W, it says 3 wood for Flint's Club. Oh my gosh, he landed in the rough. Well, we do hold a clear advantage here. At least at the moment. This is so overkill, I totally think I can make this. As long as the meat area is... Oh, it hit the cactus. All bets are up. Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. I'm restarting this hole. Out of bounds is unacceptable. That's a one-stroke penalty, and Lime had to shoot from where my ball last was. Nope, unacceptable, unacceptable. I refuse to play this way. We have to do things my way. It's my way or the highway. Okay, so her drive is at 210. Holy cow. You had it right last time, why'd you screw it up this time? Good grief. So this time they're on the fairway and I'm in the rough. Well, thanks a lot. Jeez. Can we please get onto the fairway with this? What? What was that? 
it went nowhere near what it was supposed to. Which is stupid! It's freaking stupid. It does make me question why I'm doing this Let's Play. Because I, I knew this game was coming and I knew it was going to be hard. I just didn't think it was going to suck this badly. I guess just because I had such good luck with it in my past playthroughs where I actually managed to win on the first try, like both times through. Not happening this time. But I guess we're both sucking. There's their third their third shot's on the green though, from the looks of it. And that's a flat putt! I bet Flint's gonna make that. I'm gonna approach with the five wood again. And we're gonna gauge the wind and not be stupid. Not that much though, because it's not gonna fly that high, it's not gonna be blown that much. Oh well, you know, that's a good approach, and that's an easy putt. Maybe Flint won't make this, I have no idea. Wow, okay. He had the right idea, but he hit too hard, I guess. Please sink that. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? There's another bogey for us. So there's no more sink to win or miss and lose, it's just a cumulative score over the whole thing. Anyway, it's break time! I'm the Sporkinator, thank you for watching! And may we meet again in the future. Goodbye for now.